to Grow Socially Summer Video Series. My name is Lou. And I'm Tom Barry. And we have the top social media stories of the week of June 13th. Tom, you want to get started? I know this one yeah, is it's uh, been a, it's been a near and dear to you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, number five. We're going to start off at number five. Um, exciting news. This is real. I'm excited. You're real excited. Got my first smartphone this week. Wow. First ever. You got yours, right? I did, yeah. Windows phone. I got the My Touch. Um, best thing, Grow Socially is actually now opening a new service for right. smartphone users, uh, businesses oh develop, yeah, businesses that uh, would like to create their content on a mobile optimized website. So taking their information and their website, putting it on the phone. Uh, I think it's, I'm excited about it because I know how much, how much more convenient it is for me to op uh, access information on my phone when it's mobile optimized than when it's not. So what do you, I mean, Absolutely, yeah. No, scan the QR code, goes right to your phone, Grow Socially is jumping in the mix, so now we offer our own service. Uh, absolutely, it's, it's, it's the way to be right now. Yeah, so you uh, businesses out there, you, you, can, watch you continue running your business and now uh, we'll mobile optimize your, your information. Sounds like a good deal to me. Yeah, absolutely. I would pay, I don't even know how much, upwards of thousands of dollars for such a service. Oh, I would eat it. Wow, yeah. absolutely, we won't charge you that much. Mm. No. Number four. Dave Chappelle uh, left Comedy Central in 2005, mm -hmm. um, and now he's going to launch. Yeah, he's a funny dude. Mm -hmm. He's going to launch a new show, um, but this one's not going to be on any television channel. He's going to launch it on either Hulu, Netflix, or Sony's uh, Crackle. So mm -hmm. he hasn't uh, picked one yet. They're all kind of vying for his services right now. But I think more importantly, just kind of the principle of it. What What do you think about this launching a television show? Strictly on an internet um, website, something like that, like a Hulu or a Netflix, some sort of interactive site. I know Hulu already has a few of its own original shows, and they actually get decent ratings um, yeah. that stack right up with the ones on on television. So, what's your take on that? I think it's cool because I actually watch a lot of TV on on the internet now. I catch up with my son's Anarchy episodes to right. Hulu and uh, sure. those sites, and I think I watch The View. Yeah. No. You did? No. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that'd be cool. I've always thought uh, just online TV and anything you can find online is cool. You can find like movies, yeah. videos. Yeah. You really watch The View? I get my news somewhere, man. Mm. Yeah. Number three, uh, the CNN uh, Republican debate. They just uh, they had a unique approach to social media. They used Twitter and uh, it was basically like a giant screen that was set up and the trending topic was uh, CNN debate. CNN that debate. So you hashtag CNN debate, join in on the conversation, and you it was like being there. And I don't know if you've ever live interacted with a de with a, an event before. I know I did that with the Oscars, but it's cool because you can see what people all over the world are saying at the same time just by following that hashtag. And it it was interesting too because not only did they allow for the interaction um, from Twitter. They actually used some of the tweets coming in. Some of them, if they were relevant enough, if a candidate wasn't fully answering a question to the, you know, to the what the audience wanted, they would actually pass along the question to the moderator, and he would readdress that uh, candidate. So I don't. Know, what's your take on that? As far as social media is really going to be huge in the 2012 election. Do you think this is going to be a good thing as far as it being so accessible on Facebook and Twitter? Is it going to be too much? What, what's your thought? Um, I, I, it's, it'd be interesting to see because I think, personally, I enjoy using Twitter for things like that because it's that whole, I mean, the fact that America and the politics is run for the people, everyone's discussing together, you can at least get ideas. I mean, obviously, you're not going to use everyone's ideas, but when you're talking to the world, that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at people all over the United States tweeting and, and interacting. And um, I think when it comes to uh, a broad spectrum, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, results they can get from social media and, and that kind of interaction. Absolutely. And I think this will be a key to sort of unlocking that youth vote that really has eluded mm -hmm. politics for a while as far as that, that 18 to 25 demographic. I think Absolutely. this might be the way they really clue into that and maybe start seeing some some higher numbers in that demographic. So we'll see. I think Facebook and Twitter are the perfect avenue for that. Absolutely. Number two, 
this is a story released earlier this week. Facebook's numbers in America, North America, um, are dropping. They've dropped by six million users over the past two months, um, which w was interesting for us to see. I mean, it was kind of blindsiding, I guess. You, you wouldn't really expect it because mm -hmm. Facebook's global numbers are still climbing. Um, countries that are, you know, finally getting with social media and internet access, things like that, all across the world. So they're globally they're approaching 700 million in. North America, they're down to less than 150 million now. So that's right. Wow. Yeah. Yep. So that's crazy. I know. You can do your homework on this stuff. Mm -hmm. So what what do you think this is? Is Facebook going to go the way of MySpace, or or what's going to happen here? I'm not sure because I think with with Facebook itself, the the um, growth of it, and just the the transformations it's making, it's becoming so much more uh, business oriented to where. Sometimes you don't even really need a website or depending on what your cause is, you can strictly run all your content through your Facebook page or your uh, information. And I think Facebook in general just connects everything together. So what do you think it is that, that's making the numbers drop? I don't you know, I'm not, I'm not totally sure because I know the highest climbing demographic of users in Facebook right now is really middle ages. So I'm yeah. start, I'm thinking maybe it's recent college grads, they want to get all that bad stuff off the internet and try and start new. Now, I'm not totally sure what it is. No one seems to know all the, all the research that I looked into that. No one really has an answer. Um, I don't think people are getting bored with it. I, that doesn't seem to be the answer to me. Yeah. I think businesses need to be cognizant though of the fact that there may be a decline in users in North America, so they have to find ways to become more and more and more engaging and creative in the social media campaigns they use. They have to really tap into to who's left. So I think yeah. businesses need to be aware that if Facebook, if boredom is setting in for whatever reason, businesses need to be aware and they need to really step stand apart. Yeah. I think that's something they need. You think to it has anything to do with security or uh, that is one privacy. thing that did look up. Um, privacy settings, Facebook's new privacy settings that they just kind of implemented um, bothered some people. So yeah. it's, and that could be a reason why they left. I know there was a day sponsored, like a, a quit together day or yeah. something where like 100,000 people all quit at once. So Crazy. I don't know. Cult. Yes. I don't know what's going on. Who knows? Number one, this was actually, this is exciting. Um, a lot better to be on this side of yeah, no kidding. I'm glad we're on uh, this side of the the border. Um, Absolutely, go Bruins. Go Bruins. Number one. Vancouver. Uh, we beat the Canucks, which was a wonderful, uh, it was fantastic, wonderful beginning of the summer for for us here. And uh, we don't see hockey in this uh, this late in the summer ever, so oh, that wow. was exciting. But um, it was crazy after the event. It was like Vancouver went nuts. There was people all over the place, and um, it just seemed like. For I don't know what that was. It was like yeah, insane. Chaos. And um, we'll have some pictures for you to look at right now. Yeah. Um, YouTube was huge with this, um, just riots in the street. And nice. I think this was really kind of um, symbolic of social media's use as a news outlet now. Yeah. Especially YouTube with the videos we saw, you know, police fighting with civilians and <laughs> civilians fighting back and throwing like flaming bricks and stuff. I don't even know what's going on. I've never arrived personally, Tom. I know you have here in college, yeah. but these things, um, I, it really, it's incredible. Um, yeah. Kind of kind of frightening, but social media has really drawn a lot of light and attention internationally to this. Mm. Because I know, um, I think Vancouver was like the top trending topic globally the day after wow. the Stanley Cup final, so it's scary stuff. I couldn't believe it, but it was like being on, I was on Twitter that night and it was just, you, you, you saw a certain amount of uh, tweets that were about the Bruins winning and then all of a sudden it turned over right away to the chaos in Vancouver and I, I couldn't believe wow. how nuts it was and it was like, it was, I mean, from a, a social media perspective, it was kind of cool to see you can get videos and pictures on Twitter, on Facebook, on whatever. Uh, right away the YouTube videos of people just going crazy up there and it was like I mean in Boston we were I mean, people were having fun but it wasn't wasn't mayhem it was controlled and uh, I just I think that uh, it, 
social media definitely played a, a strong role in that, in that at least communication and um, the world's response to the, their uh, their actions. So, I'll take it off. You want to plug John's book? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Um, if you haven't picked up a copy of our CEO's new book, Business Trans Transformation. Get your copy now. You can get it online um, at our website, www.growsocially.com. Uh, make sure you check that out because it's, it's a great. We we're reading it right now. I'm reading um, it. Yeah, it great. Is, but I can't put it down. Yeah, I can't put it down. John's. If you know John too, that's he's a. You can definitely hear his voice in that book. He's a. Absolutely. He's a funny guy. So um, check it out. Absolutely. Thanks for watching this latest installment of the Summer Video Series. Check back again next week with our new top five. Yeah, follow us on Twitter.